Hey, what's up everybody? Just want to make this quick video. Um, this here is probably one of the biggest scams or at the very least ripoffs that I've ever seen for uh, silver and gold. Um, somebody gave this book to my, or this magazine to my wife and told me and told her to bring it home and show it to me, I guess. And um, this is what they buy their silver and gold from and I know a lot of people give Atmex and a lot of these online dealers a hard time for their high prices but I have never seen anything as much of a ripoff as this company is here this national collectors mint um, and supposedly this person orders through this company because they don't want to get taken advantage of and doesn't want to receive um, fake items. But after looking through this book, and I'm going to show you the pricing in here, I just can't believe that companies like this exist. Well, actually, I can believe it, but um, I can't believe people actually fall for this. So let's take a look. Um, so, while making this video, during the recording of this video, the date today, because it probably would be important, is September 20th, 2018. And silver, the last time I looked at it, was $14.24. And I believe gold was $1,205. So, if we take a look at this... Um, Sunshine minting is, you know, probably one of the better generic mints or private mints that are uh, in the market. But if you look at the price for one one ounce silver bar, they want $30.95. That is highway robbery. Um, you can probably go, I haven't really looked at one ounce sunshine bars lately but with silver spot being at 14.25 i'm sure premiums are up a little bit but you can probably get one one ounce silver sunshine bar i would say probably for 16 17 dollars at the most and some change um this is just crazy um and then if we continue looking here they have Looks like they have some one ounce silver eagles. Um, looks like gold gilded for $50. Then they have a one gram gold bar for $85. Five gram gold bar for $375. For 300 and I think for $350, you can go to Atmex and buy a quarter ounce eagle for that price or for a hundred for 350 cheaper than what they want to sell you a five gram gold bar for so let's continue looking um let's take a look let's take a look so here's some uh looks like some uh, peace dollars for forty dollars so here let's look at Silver Eagles. I mean, if you want to take a look, they have some Walking Liberty halves. I'm not really privy to all the pricing um, values for walkers, but I'm sure that these are probably heavily inflated as far as their pricing on those go. Uh, but if we look at, here is 2018 Brilliant Uncirculated Silver Eagle Dollars. Silver Eagles... Um, one Silver Eagle for $32.95. And then you can go all the way down to buy 20, a tube of 20 for $555. Right now, you can go to eBay through Modern Coin Mart and buy without eBay bucks or anything and get a tube for, I believe it's uh, $359. So, I mean, this is just crazy pricing. 
Um, hopefully nobody falls victim to these uh, inflated prices. Um, let's take a look. Uh, President Donald Trump presidential dollar thirteen dollars for a one dollar. It looks like a one dollar uh, clad coin with uh, a painting or you know just a little picture of Donald Trump on it. I'm trying to find a date. It says I think it said Eisenhower. I don't know what year, but um, it doesn't really matter. These uh, prices are just outrageous. Then. We look at Treasurer's Choice. Nothing better than a slabbed coin from an unrecognizable uh, uh, grading company, if you want to call it that. Treasurer's Choice MS70. Um, and they want $100. You could probably go to, P to Modern Coin Mart, and if, if that's what you want, and buy a MS70 NGC or PCGS for $100 or less. So this is just a mind-boggling ripoff. I mean, if you take in a Treasure's, Treasurer's Choice slab coin, they're not going to give you anything uh, to a LCS. They probably won't give you anything more than a dollar over spot for the coin. All right, so let's take a look. What else do we have? What other kind of goodies can we get ripped off on? Brilliant uncirculated silver eagle dollars. So we can buy. So let's take a look at this. So let's take a look. The one one of the best years of silver eagles was 1996. Um, and they want $139 for a 1996, where you can probably get a MS. It's been a long time since I looked up graded Silver Eagles for 96, but I mean, you can probably get close to a uh, MS 69. I'm not sure what a MS 70 goes for in a 1996, but. Um, I know for 1986, I just went to a LCS a couple of months ago and bought two of them for uh, $24 a piece, and these here are 80 bucks for a 1986. So, anyway, just wanted to pass this information along. Hopefully, nobody buys any of this garbage from. Um, I'm not gonna say this garbage because they got some pretty nice stuff in here, but the prices are outrageous. Just don't buy from this company. There you go. Tre Treasurer's Choice um, Silver Bar for 30 bucks. Who who would who would want to buy that? Um, one more thing I wanted to show you before my battery dies. Um, and if this video ends prematurely, my battery is kind of low. But check this out. Um, this gold, what looks to be a gold buffalo. Um, but it tells you on there, I believe it said somewhere on here, I was reading this early, earlier that it's 0.24. Um, let me take a look. I know I read it on here, but don't don't fall victim to this. This here is $40, but it is not a actual American gold buffalo it says actually on there cook's island um but this is not one ounce all right there, there you go it says right there struck from a struck from a full 200 milligrams of pure 999 pure gold crap so thanks to everybody for watching please like comment subscribe let me know have you ever heard of uh, this company before and plus i think the shipping um, they have a shipping on here too where not only are the prices inflated like that but they also charge you for shipping um, even if you spend a thousand dollars you have to spend thirty dollars on shipping which is just ridiculous um, zero 
which is what I would spend is zero dollars to one hundred and forty nine dollars is seven dollars for shipping. Just crazy. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever heard of this company? Um, have you ever bought anything from this company? Hopefully not. But um, National Collectors Mint. Never buy from them. Don't fall victim. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video.